I love these crabs at the beach running around. They're so fun and this one's gonna be super fun to make. Just as a review, let's see how to make our marbleized paper real quick with shaving cream. Spread it out, okay? And then if you have leftover paint from painting on the wall or whatever, put on your shaving cream, put some more. And you can make cool designs. You can do swirls, swirls, or swirls. It's really all I can think of. But then you can just wipe off the stuff, get a piece of paper, now we put this paper on there. Wipe off your hand on your table. Pat down the paper. Okay, when it's patted good enough, like a pancake. And you take it to the side of your table and, and put put it like down a little bit like that. So it can crease it and scrape off all the cement or shaving cream whatever it is <gasps> look at that ugly picture you can do it just with shaving cream and leftover paints and then you can hang it up with your little clip okay okay grab your paper and sharpie we're gonna go ahead and find the shapes on this awesome cool crab i see like a rainbow for his back of the top of his carapace, his body. And there's these kind of oval shapes here for it looks, they look like fake eyes. I don't know what they are. <laughs> a little bit of a scalloped front. And then I see stalks for his eyeballs right here. So fun. I guess this giant bicep that's kind of like a rectangle that's fatter at the top and skinnier at the other side. And then it's feathered um, on one side. His elbow is kind of like a curved square rectangle, right? It has like a short C. And then here on the claw, you'll notice it's two separate triangles. They're curved a little bit. Go ahead and look at the shapes. Um, and then I put the claw where I want them and then connect them with the rest of kind of his hand. <laughs> Super cool. Crabs have one larger claw and one smaller claw on their two front legs. They have 10 legs, but the top two are like arms with claws on all crabs. So I always think of it as eight legs and two arms, but that's not how the science books say. <laughs> so 10 legs, decapods. We're doing pretty much the same thing we did for the other arm but a larger claw this one's open a little bit and if i were you i would add something like what's your crab gonna eat maybe he's eating an apple or maybe he's playing with a ball or a toy or maybe he has a pet you can draw a little something in his claw if you want <laughs> we'll go ahead and do his back legs next and a bunch of the legs are hiding underneath his body but pay attention to how short and long the different segments of his legs are. Just look back and forth. Uh, it looks like, you know, the top part for that one was a triangle and this one looks more like a rectangle. Looks like three little sections that you can see. And for this leg, it's going the other direction. So it's coming out and then in. And he has a little point. Some of the crab pictures have their toes sticking into the sand. So you don't get to see their, the little ends. This is such a great exercise to just follow the shape, see the shape and draw it. And as always, don't worry if it's not exact, you know, your crab can have an extra fat leg or extra skinny eyeball. Doesn't matter. You're just learning to see shapes. This one has a leg that's kind of going behind. How fun is that? Overlapping, awesome skill. What else can we add to this little guy? Just checking back and forth to see if I missed anything. That's something you can do too. And let's try our next one. This one I'm using ink. It's another crab, different shapes. And just draw along with me, so fun. I'm using ink with a skinny brush. 
such a great thing to practice with. You have to use the tippy tip of your brush and um, it can be fat and skinny lines. You can do dots and stripes. Oh my goodness, so much fun. All right, I'm studying the shapes again and it looks like I'm gonna go for the eyes first kind of places where do I want the crab on my paper and then the smile line that goes behind the eyes and then I'm figuring out where do I want the back of his body to end so I did that little curve and then my straight lines enough room for legs I think I'll start with those two back legs it has a slight curve and then a little attachment of bubbles and a pointy little claw fingers. Let's do it again. You guys, this is so fun. Well, there's like a segment for his elbow. <laughs> I don't think it's called an elbow. And his tiny little toes that help him scamper around. This guy shows all 10 of his legs. Good old decapod guy. He's not hiding any of them. Skinny little segments. I'm gonna do this fat part first because it's in front and then we'll add that other leg behind it after we have his grand biceps and then his awesome hand and claw. Sight drawing is always finding shapes that are familiar to you. Like you can tell I'm using a triangle, but I'm curving it a little bit or uh, an oval and just adding that on or just rounding the edges of a rectangle. And that's what you'll do. You'll see right here, there's skinny stalks because I'm familiar with, you know, skinny leaf patterns or blades of grass patterns. So just think of the shapes that you see as similar to something that you're familiar with. Drawing becomes easy and fun. I love that crab legs just have these long and short segments and they just seem so fun and easy. Sometimes they look like triangles or rectangles on top of each other. I can't wait to see how you see the shapes and make your own big giant crabs. Speaking of, we went to the beach at night. Isn't it just so crazy cool that God made the crab with one huge claw and one small claw? Like, have you ever thought about that? We were at the beach the other day and Mocha, our dog, um, sniffed at a crab and the crab ran away and hilarious, they run sideways. Have you ever seen a crab run totally sideways? And I was thinking, you know, we're just responsible to use what we've been given for the purposes God has given them to us. Like the crab has these claws and he could use them to help find food or he could use them to battle a big dog. He decided to use his legs to run away and he ran away sideways because God made his joints so that he runs sideways. That's just the way the joints in his knees go. It's like um, such a picture to me of how we are responsible to use what God has given us in responsible ways. Be the best you. Whatever God has given you. If he's given you hands and feet, use them for his glory. Use them how they were meant to be used. To serve others. To make beautiful things. Um, if God has given you a creative problem-solving mind, use it to produce 
awesome solutions to the problems in the world. So I'm going to say the crab is just a great example of responsibility. Us being responsible with what we've been given. We can be responsible with the cap on our marker. And in this case, if you're playing with ink and a brush, uh, go wash your brush before you get out your glue. Here you can see I've got my jar of sand from the beach and I'm using a paintbrush to go on the edges around my crab so that the sand will just go in all of the background around my crab and cover the paper. So you can use a paintbrush for all those little spots and I just poured sand on this middle place because I didn't want the glue to dry out before I did the rest. Um, and after I shook that off and spread it around, I just went ahead and did the whole rest of the background. If you use a, a skinny brush for around the detailed um, legs, that works. And then you can use a big fat brush, your finger for the big old back, um, large background spaces. So it goes a little faster. Let's think about what else God has given you. God's given you a smart mind. What if God gave you a love for stories? Has he given you a creative story-making mind so that you can write awesome novels that teach people the values of um, beautiful characters, honesty versus a vengeful heart, or a forgiving, a generous heart versus the selfish, proud one? Are you able to cr create just awesome stories or maybe you're incredibly you're gifted with intuition and you can really understand people or listen compassionately um use what god has given you to become the amazing you he intended when he created you gifting you with all the gifts that you need to become uniquely beautifully you